I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I think it's fantastic that you joined me today for episode number 247, where I'm going to show you how to calculate the number of days in a month. This is actually a question sent in to me from the Quantrix community, which I sincerely appreciate their support and appreciate the fact that uh, you're asking me questions. So I have some material and I really do want to make you a Quantrix master. So I'm more than happy to share with you a solution to your Quantrix questions. Uh, this user has a year listed here and it has month listed here. And what we want to do is we want to get the number of days. So I'm just going to say number of days in the month of, you know, 2011 for June. So we have to account for leap years here, right? And I don't want to have to do this manually. There's a whole list here. So how can I do this and make sure that it's just, you know, a couple formulas that make this happen? Well, I would go ahead and I would use some month number calculations, which I showed you in episode number 245 or 246. And I would simply say that month number is equal to month here, date value. And if you have a question about this one, you can watch episode number 245, uh, where I believe I show you this one. So I'm going to do month, and I'm going to put double quote, then a one, another double quote, close my parentheses and then what I get here is I get the number of each one of the months even though they're spelled out long here I'm able to convert them to the integer here now in order to get the number of days I'm going to simply go out here and say number of days is equal to EO month what's my start date I'm gonna say date it's gonna be the year which is listed here uh, my month is going to be this month that is here, and my day is going to be day one. And because it's an end of month, I want to go out actually zero months. So it brings back the end of month. If I were to change this just really quick so I could see that it's working, I would see, and let me change that format there for US so that at least I can understand it. You may need to change it back for your country, I guess. But it, we have 131, uh, 229. So again, 2016 is a leap year. So what I want to do is I want to capture the day out of here. So I would simply go in here and put day as another uh, function. And if I do that and I switch this back to integers here, you can see that indeed I have 31 days in January. I have 29 in February for that leap year and so on. So I think 2012 was another leap year. I remember that because I was working at a job that I didn't really like and I didn't want to have to spend another day working there. And uh, I guess the only saving grace was I, I got to use Quantrix and it was awesome. But anyway, uh, I, I know that February 2012 is uh, 29 days. So that is how you would calculate the number of days in each month when you have maybe just a year and a month listed here. You'd go ahead and get your month number and then you would use this day function and uh, the EO month function uh, as well as a date number as I have listed here. And I'm just going to break this out here. So maybe it's a little easier for you to dissect and to read. There you have it. That's how you can get the number of days within a month. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to receive any sort of model help or consulting with Quantrix or any one-on-one -on -one training, I'd be more than happy to do that for you and really help you build the skill set and really become a, a Quantrix master. I've got an extensive background in building all sorts of models and would love the opportunity to help you uh, grasp the power of this awesome tool. And if you have any questions about consulting, that engagement, or anything else in regards to Quantrix, or a basic question, I hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely want to make you a Quantrix master, and I absolutely love Quantrix, and I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. master.